hey lovelies welcome back to delcy nails today i'll be showing you a video on how i set up for my clients i'm just going to show you my nail storage this is where i keep everything to do with nails um because i can't really have a permanent permanent setup because i've got families i've got you know little ones so i just have to keep everything in the storage and basically unpack everything when i get a client and then pack everything back when the client is gone or i don't have a client so this is the little space i'll be working with it's basically my living room so we all start from somewhere this table you can see that it's super super messed up but that's because i've had this since i started my nail journey so it's something that's been with me since then so what i just do i just cover it with some tissue towel paper just to cover where all my my, my acrylic mistakes my gel mistakes and that's basically it just to make it look a bit more professional then i have the hand rest this is what this is the hand rest that i unpacked in my previous um video and then this i've got my my um dust collector it is very new i've only used it once and i realized oh you know i do need a hand rest that's more um higher so that's basically it so that's it i got these from amazon like amazon is my best friend i have everything amazon i'm just going to show you my primer my dehydrator and my acid primer so one is a non-acid primer one is an acid and one is a dehydrator and my top coat and they normally go on the other side but i'm just showing you what i take out and also my little drill bits that you see and these are my little pot full of um, nail files um what's it called um my cuticle nipples everything everything that i use i have sanitized in and before anyone but i'm gonna ease into pouches but because i don't really get much clients um i'm gonna leave it for now but once i get new clients i will start to go into putting them in pouches um this is my acetone and alcohol so i'm just gonna refill them because i've only filled them once and it's very very low um it's better just make it look like there's a lot than making it look empty it's more professional that way so i'm just going to fill it and then i'm going to mark them again because when alcohol or acetone get onto the bottle when you're um pumping it out it does erase the permanent marker so i'm just going to go over it so it's more um visible so you guys can just um watch that <laughs> So yeah these are my swatches these are my gel polish swatches and i just bring them out i i do know what color she's going for but some people do change their mind so it's just good just to bring everything out and that pointy stiletto batch will be my acrylic um samples i do know what she wants but like i said it's best to just have it out because people do change change their mind the minute they sit on your on your chair some people do get excited of you know of other things that they can do with their nails and they just change the whole design but it's always good to have that out this is my little dapping dish i use it for cleaning my acrylic brush when um acrylic gets stuck in it i just put it aside and the bigger one the heart shape one that's my you know my monomer this one is the pt nail supply monomer that i told i told you but it is ema and um you can see it's almost finished but i do have others just in case this finished with the, the set i have my nail nails as a backup and yeah so i'm just opening my my 100 um by 180 grit file and this is why i used to um shape the nail tips because it's not that rough just to prevent the nail tip from cracking or breaking this is good good enough grit and the other little um orange thing that you saw that is a buffer and i and each person have their own so they are disposable ones so the minute i use it on this client is going into the bin because it's disposable this is a little fan um during the summertime it was really, really hot 
and I was struggling with the acrylic so I bought a fan just in case my client will be hot now the weather is changing a fan is not necessarily needed but you just never know they could be rushing so it's always good just to have that so they can cool down just feel very comfortable and that's one thing with clientele even though you're home base try your best to make your client feel as comfortable as they can because hopefully that will make them become returning clients along with um good work of course so we're going over some we putting the butterflies because she's having butterflies on the nails um these are water decals so that'll be there and this is my e-file that I got from august i love it i think the e-files e is a game changer if your e-file is good trust me you you going around those cuticle works and all these um like filing the nails it it really really helps so but that was 50 pounds from august so you can check it out um i'll just also leave the link in the description box as well i don't mind so yeah i just pop those behind me because i've got like a shelf behind me where i pop certain things because i've got a little one i have to make sure things are closer to me and not that accessible to him so it's just a little preview of how the whole table is set up and everything else and i like it this just shows where we start we start from small but eventually we get there this is the ashtray that i told you guys about in my previous video i'm just gonna pop it on my balcony so if she wants to smoke then that's that and this is the whole setup the whole from the back to the front front to the back and some cushions for you know comfort comfortability and that's really it um i hope you guys like this video but i'm gonna show you this little um unboxing um, i didn't know what it was because you know when you order things from aliexpress you just never know what you get because you've probably forgotten about it but um as i opened i realized it was nail tips because my other nail tips i couldn't find and i thought maybe i chucked it in the bin so just to be on the safer side i order ones and having to find it in my clothing drawer how did my nail tip end up in my clothing drawer yeah anyways i hope you guys like this video make sure you comment subscribe and share. Thank you. Bye.